Hello again guys, this is Chris with Crystallization and uh, this is just the second video in a list of videos I will be making about uh, managing your WordPress install uh, and uh, this website uh, twowayradios.co happens to be a WordPress install with a built-in uh, plugin for a shopping cart and uh, I talked about in my last previous video I talked about uh, pages um, in the back end uh, which is this is your WordPress dashboard, you know, making changes to um, a static page within um, your WordPress install. Um, also managing, there you go, that those are the pages. Also managing um, your menu at the top, you know, where things go, sub menu for the pages, and so on and so forth. Um, today I want to touch on making changes or managing your shopping cart really quickly. And um, for this particular client, the uh, shopping cart I'm using is called WP Store Cart. If you actually went on to WordPress.org, um, you could download this plugin, which has a free version to use. Um, for the most part, it's pretty straightforward, um, pretty common sense um, um, buttons, or I, uh, I guess user-friendly common sense uh, 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 things. Uh, assuming you wanted this was a fresh install. Let's quickly talk about setting up your shopping cart. Um, this actually, this shopping cart is actually very cool because it actually allows you to uh, more or less set up your shopping cart using a wizard. So once you actually install this for the first time on your website, uh, your WordPress install, it actually goes through a wizard, which actually allows you to, you know, install most of this. But you know, assuming you know you wanted to make a few more changes. Um, to the cart um, and uh, you know update certain things you know this would be a good way to start on the settings you can actually come here on the general as you can see uh, we have a few things you can make changes to under your cart um, everything from you know what pages are used um, to manage store products so your main your main store page would be shop, which is which is what this page is right there on your website. Um, second page, your checkout page, which would be that guy right there. Um, orders page would be orders, and that guy right there. Those are actually pages I created right there. Uh, I talked about in my last video adding new pages. Uh, so assuming you know you wanted to make you know extra pages or change a page right here all you would have to do is literally on the pages click on add and um, add a new page so I could add a new page and call this if I can type Chris page um, I could uh, uncheck you know my commenting because this is not going to be a blog and within Chris page Assuming I were to save that as a page, um, I'm not going to mess with the ordering process. I'm pretty sure you all know what the, all these does um, since you watched the last video. If I were to come to my main website and I were to refresh this page, there should be a new page called Chris Page. And if I were to apply that page as one of my store pages on the settings and uh, general, I actually, I actually select Chris page right there. So I actually use any page within my WordPress pages um, to manage my store as well. And uh, this right there is to select your store as yes or no. Um, it's just like I said, it's pretty much common sense um, settings within your entire um, you know WP store card install. But I, what I really want to talk about today is how to actually manage. Um, your products and categories, uh, things like that within your store, uh, within your shopping cart. So, you know, first things first, you know, before you actually go ahead and start adding uh, things like products, as you can see, we have a product in here, you want to actually add categories first. And uh, that would be on the categories right there. You could select categories, and we have a couple of them already. To add a new one, all you need to do is just go ahead and type in you know Chris as a category 
is it a parent category or is it a subcategory of another category? Let's just leave this as a parent category. Uh, you know, if you have a thumb nail, which is an image, uh, you can add that on there. A description for this category goes there. And this would define what order this category is going to go. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four. So if I wanted this to be maybe in between three and four, I could probably make this a three. And if I were to submit this category, you'd notice I'm going to have a new category called Chris right there. And if I were to refresh this page, there should be a new category called Chris right there. I can delete this category if I no longer need it. Now let's talk about products. Adding a new product. You can add a new product um, into a category because this is a very user friendly shopping cart, meaning you could type in a product. Let's call this, um, you know, Chris's shirt. A description is my shirt is awesome. Um, and you have an in depth. Um, description which can be my shirt is awesome my shirt is awesome um, I can type in a price for this product um, let's keep this at $20 for my shirt yeah it's a really expensive shirt um, do I accept donations no it's not um, a charitable organization I'm selling tangible products do you want to use inventory yes and how many do you have in your inventory I have a stock of about 500 let's say and this would be for shipping. So if you have set up your UPS or USPS shipping model, set it, set all that up, you can actually come here and type in your weight, length, width, height. And this would help um, USPS or UPS give a good shipping rate when your customers are about to buy your product. Uh, moving on, here you can select your category, you know, where the shirt falls under. So if I was going to put the shirt under you know two-way radios as a category it goes there tags you know would be kind of like keywords you want to separate them by commas so I could go Chris comma shirts comma Chris shirts you know so on and so forth and uh, this shopping cart has a capability of selling downloadable products so e-products you're selling an e-book things like that you can actually upload that file here it tells you what um, you know what dimensions or you know characteristics or features of your file should be right there and if you have a product thumbnail that goes right there and that's uh, another word for your image now the cool thing about this cart which is why I emphasize common sense is everything about this shopping cart is user friendly it even has tiny little help tools you roll your mouse over any one of the question marks right there it tells you what that tab does furthermore there's a little bit of a description to the far right column for each section so I mean this card should be relatively very easy for a novice to figure out you know by browsing through um, certain um, columns or sections of the page itself um, so we talked about products, talked about categories. Editing a product is just as easy as adding a product. Uh, if you click on edit, it shows you what you have already. This is a product I entered in already, and that's that product right there. And I can edit this page, uh, this product, um, forgive the definition, and as you can see, I can make changes however way I want. Um, orders, orders under orders, you know, same co common sense. You could click on all orders and it shows you all process orders um, within or pending or, you know, cancelled, whatever the order was. It will tell you what, you know, information about it. It tells you, you know, what was pending. You can actually edit an order. Um, you know, it tells you what, you know, information about the order, the email address of the user, the user's name, things like that. Uh, completed orders, pending, refunded, you know, pretty straightforward. Marketing, if you've got coupons, I don't think this is set up to take coupons, but um, oh yeah, I guess it is. So if you have a coupon, you know, you can type in a coupon code, 
Um, and you know, once again, this is a common sense type of shopping cart, very user friendly. You roll your mouse over every question mark and it tells you what um, that section does. But you know, to run through this really quickly, you have a section right there to type in a coupon code, a cost, a flat discount, a percentage, either or, description of your coupon, um, all products. You can apply this coupon to all products or certain products, and you can set a start and end date for a particular product. Um, you know, same thing with your affiliate section. I believe on the marketing there's also something called Share Your Card. It's a trademark third-party software. It actually allows you to um, share your information with, um, I guess, uh, third-party merchants that can sell your products. On the affiliates. You have, um, uh, you know, other products you can buy. This is provided by um, the manufacturer, or the designer of WP Shop Store Cart. You know, it's just uh, another plugin you can buy, as you can see, for fourteen ninety nine, which you can offer a section of your website for affiliates. Um, last but not least, before we hit help would be for your statistics and I guess here you can upgrade to the pro version because the free version doesn't give you stats um, in order to view statistics uh, for market market strategies or market reports you know see how many people are browsing your store viewing a certain product things like that um, but for the most part you know it's a very good shopping cart without the need for going pro very user friendly um, the last tab here called help you know, once again, common sense. It tells you what everything within the cart does. Um, there isn't really much to talk about. It's a very, very user-friendly cart. Um, these tabs right here are also, you know, within the actual plugin sub nav on your main WordPress install navigation backend. So you can actually go here and browse the same pages I browsed up here. So it's a very, very user-friendly cart. Um, and you know, I really just want to emphasize, you know, a, a good card you could use within your shopping cart install. But let's go back and touch a little bit about pages, because this is really what I want to have you guys get, you know, very used to about. Um, I'm really making these videos about WordPress and using WordPress, you know, pages and things like that. We talked about pages, adding a new page. We talked about menu section within your website. Um, you know your pages, um, your menu section up there, making a sub navigation um, on the menus because this theme uses the menu function and here you can actually have you know sub menus or main menus. You could arrange the the hierarchy of pages right here. This actually supersedes um, this certain actually supersedes um, the pages. So assuming you were actually on the specific page, I'm waiting for this page to save. So assuming I was actually on the specific page right now, I go to pages and I clicked on Chris's page, the new page I made. Okay. So assuming I was on the pages right there, this section right here on the page attributes, this normally would control where your page ranks. You know, I mean, sorry, I guess um, hierarchy, you know, if it's a parent page or not. Also, this section controls where your page ranks in terms of order. Your menu section, if your theme is using the menu section, this section actually supersedes your page attributes within the page itself because this would actually control more or less you know where your pages go, if it's a sub page or not, and hierarchy or order of a page. So you really don't even have to mess with um, attributes. You know, within the actual page itself, if you can actually control it from your menu section. We also talked about um, different parts of the page, but just to re-emphasize, you know, you have your title section or name of the page. You have your content section. These are your buttons, typical to WordPress, Microsoft Word. You know, you could add links, things like that. Oh, for images, say you wanted to add an image. Uh, this section at the very top here on the upload insert add an image you can click on this you can select an image from your computer you can select it from a URL on the web you could select it from your library 
if you already have images already uploaded to your site you could use it from here no matter what you do when you select an image you actually want to press the button that says insert into post you know typical things for your images would be your SEO tag your title tags your all tags um, um, these are all just for search engine optimization you hit insert and it inserts this image into my post as you can see if I were to save this page this is the about us page and I came back to my main website that is still saving let's wait a little bit still saving still saving Still saving <clears throat> as you can see the wheel is still moving so it's saved and once it's saved you can come to your main website and hit about us and this page should actually have an image which I just added to the page so WordPress is a very very easy to use there you go it's a very very easy to use CMS um, you know to altering a website managing a website and um, you know I just wanted to uh, release this video uh, so that way you all can benefit from using um, WordPress I hope this video was um, educational and uh, if you have any questions let me know you can find me on crystallization.com uh, it's usually at the top right corner of uh, or top um, I guess bottom corner right corner of this video thank you again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day